Hey kids, welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are doing well and you guys are keeping safe and healthy during these times. And I hope school's going well for you too because that's something that has just started back up. So I hope you're enjoying that and getting the most out of it uh, through online learning. And just before we get into today's lesson, I wanna remind you guys that there's one week left for you to submit names and suggestions for what we'll call this series. Uh, I'll, I'll again have my email on screen so that you guys can send your ideas there and then hopefully next week I'll have them all in and then we'll have a creative name for this. Now before we, and just one more thing before we get into today's lesson, I want you guys to meet a friend of mine and this friend will be joining us every now and then in videos, maybe he'll do his own video um, and he's just gonna be with us and partner with us and yeah, just enjoy enjoy these videos with us. So, without further ado, I want you guys to meet Henry the Hippo. Can you say hi, Henry? Well, it appears that Henry is a little shy, um, but hopefully that'll change in the weeks to come. But yeah, Henry's gonna be with us and he'll, he'll do his own thing and enjoy these times with us. All right, so Henry, can you say bye to the kids? It's uh, still a no from Henry, but he's gonna get on his way and hopefully he will see you guys around later. Alrighty, so today's lesson is all about trying something new, whether it's an activity or whether it's a food, it's about just trying something new. So I want you guys to think about a time where you had to try something new, whether it was an activity at school whether it was a sport at school, whether it was something with your friends or your family, or even if it was a food that you had never had before and you had, it was just something you had to try. I want you guys to think about what it was like. Were you excited to try it? Were you a little unsure of trying it? Were you not looking forward to trying whatever it was at all? And then once you did try it, did you enjoy it? Were you still not sure about it? Were you happy you tried it, but would be okay not doing whatever it was again? or were you just not really enjoying whatever this experience was. Now I'm gonna tell you a story of, an ex of a new experience I had when I was back in my youth group many years ago. So we went to this place called a high ropes course. And what it was, it was a course uh, out in a forest or a wooded area with a lot of trees. And it was actually in the trees. So. When you wanted to start the course, you had to climb up a ladder to get to the first platform so you could do this course. And it was a bit of an obstacle course where you got to walk across wires, ropes, bridges, hop from platform to platform. And it was a really cool experience. But when you got there, they had these teachers and instructors that would got you set up in your safety gear so that you wouldn't fall and that you would be safe throughout the entire thing. And then they also had a little demo instru instruction area that was maybe a few half a foot foot off the ground i'm not too sure it was a long time ago but just so you could be comfortable with the safety harnesses and the proper things to do if you slipped and what you had to do on the course so once they had you all set up you would climb up to the first platform and there'd be an instructor and teacher there waiting for you to make sure that you were doing everything properly just like they taught and then and you had this little hook that you would clip on to a wire that would run from tree to tree and that would make sure that if you fell you would still be able to not fall down to the ground and you would be able to be supported so then this teacher or instructor would go before you and show you kind of how it's done and wait on the other side of the platform for you so that uh, once you got to the other platform, they could show you how to do the next platform. And it was a really cool and fun experience. I really enjoyed it because that was something I really liked. Uh, some may not have enjoyed it because they may have been afraid of heights. And when you're up in a tree and you're walking from tree to tree, that's not really a good experience for them. But they may have enjoyed it later on and got more comfortable with that. And it was just a really cool, good new experience that I enjoyed. So today's lesson, uh, like I said, is all about new experiences and it comes from Mark 1, 14 to 20. Now I've got a little 
uh, drawing here that hopefully will help illustrate this. I'm gonna just turn that around and I hope you guys can see it, but it says follow me. Now, uh, today's story is about four guys who were fishermen and their names were uh, Simon, Andrew, James, and John. Now, fishermen back in Jesus's time were, it was a very um, hard working job and different than what we would think of as a fisherman. Instead of fishing rods and fishing poles, they had these really big, heavy nets that they would have to throw off their boat into the water in hopes of catching large amounts of fish. Now, the, the fish that they caught would be to feed themselves, to feed their families, and to sell in a marketplace so that they could maybe fix their boat or fix their fishing nets, whatever they needed to keep making money and be able to provide for themselves and their families. So it was a and yeah, it was a very intense and hardworking job. Now, Jesus invited these four guys to follow him and become his disciples or followers, another way of thinking about that. And a disciple was someone who followed a teacher around and learned from them. And it was different than how we would think of a teacher, where it was all day, all week, for however long that teacher thought they needed to be around. And it was, uh, yeah, just learning from this teacher and trying to um, not imitate, but teach what they taught. So the disciple would teach what Jesus taught to those around them too. So that was a pretty cool thing. Now, as you can imagine, being a fisherman and a disciple were two very different jobs and two very different lifestyles. And what's cool is that when Jesus invites Simon, Andrew, James, and John to follow him, they do exactly that. And they drop what they're doing as fishing so that they can be with Jesus and spend time with him and share what they learn from him. So it was their way of trying a new experience without really knowing what they're getting into. I don't know if they had any thoughts or concerns get into it, but they uh, just went right in. And we have this image for today where it's Jesus inviting them to follow him and become his disciples and followers so that they can teach what they learn from Jesus to those around them. And what's cool is that we have, we're offered this same opportunity too as we get older and as we learn more from the Bible about Jesus and about God, we're invited to teach that stuff to those around us as well. Now, it's a little hard for you guys right now because you're still young, you still have lots to learn, but one day in the future, you can have and share in the same opportunity. So with that, I'm going to pray and then you guys can get on with your day. Dear God, thank you that Simon, Andrew, and James, and John listened to Jesus' call and followed him. Make us your disciples too. Help us to follow Jesus by sharing your stories and your love. Pray this in your name. Amen. See you around, kids, and stay safe.